The Canadian coffee wars have claimed a victim. The second cup has really languished behind its rivals like Tim Hortons and Starbucks, and so it has a plan now to get back on its feet. Cannabis. It wants to trade in its Java for joints, converting at least some of its Ontario locations to pot dispensaries. The second cup announced a partnership with marijuana clinic operator National Access Cannabis back in April to perhaps sell pot in some of its Alberta locations. But now, with the government of Ontario's decision to allow private enterprise to sell cannabis, Second Cop says it wants to convert at least some of its 130 Ontario locations into dispensaries if they can get a license to do so. We already have the strategic alliance with, with uh, Second Cup and we know that they have a tremendous real estate portfolio across Ontario and now we're working with them to figure out which of the locations might be better served to become dispensaries. It will be um, the transition on the location of course but it could be in specific partnership uh, as far as ownership of that license for that location. But don't think you're going to get a cup of coffee along with your joint. The stores will no longer be Second Cup. They'll be totally rebranded. So no more coffee. No more coffee. No more Second Cup logo. Uh, not on that location that we've cherry-picked to transition to a dispensary. If it worked under the law and, and Second Cup came to you and said, listen, you could sell your cannabis in here. We want to sell our coffee too. Would you be okay with that? I would definitely be open to it. It's an iconic Canadian brand. Have they asked you about that? No, we haven't spoken about it. No. So why does the Second Cup want less to do with the coffee industry? The company didn't want to appear on camera today, but a food and beverage expert says it could have something to do with profits not being high enough. They're looking at it saying, listen, we're behind Tim Hortons, we're behind Starbucks, we're behind McDonald's. Let's just let the cannabis guys have the stores and make what money we can. Yeah, it's interesting because, again, they have struggled in the coffee market. Uh, you know, as we know, Tim's and McDonald's has done a really good job in Starbucks. So, you know, it's a bit of a repositioning, but I think it's an opportunity to salvage some of that prime real estate space. It's not just the second cup. Expect retailers of all kinds to jump on the cannabis trade. As for investors, they seem to really like the joints for Java News. Second cup stock shot up more than 7% on Bay Street today. Consuming strictly coffee, Richard Southern City News.